hi guys welcome back to another video today in this video we will learn how to create a ribbon design for website using html and css as you can see on my computer screen here i have created one box with some content which is the offer text and in the top left corner you can see a message a special offer which is in the red background color so this a special offer text is written in the ribbon style so we will learn how to create this complete offer box with ribbon style using html and css but before starting this video please hit the like button and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials now let's start this video here in this folder i have one index.html file and another file called style.css and i have one image for logo let me open these files with my code editor which is visual studio code so this is the html file where i have added the basic html structures and this one is the css file and i have connected the html and css file with the link tag now we will create one div in this body tag with the class name hero let's add the css for this class write this class name here in the css file and here we will add some css properties so let me add the width and height for this div then we will add one background here we will add one color code then let's add the position relative. After adding this, let's come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser so you can see the plain color on the complete web page. Let me close this browser and I will open the browser with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server. So it will refresh the website automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file. So you can see the same web page again. Now. Let's come back to the HTML file and here within this div we will create another div with the class name box. Now we will add the CSS for this box. So write this class name here in the CSS file and for this box we will add the width and minimum height. After that we will add the padding to add some space inside this box. Then background it will be white and text align center so that all the contents inside this div will be in the center. Let's add the border radius 10 pixels so that the corners will be round and position absolute top 50% left 50% then we will add transform translate minus 50% so it will make the div in the center of the web page then we will add the box shadow to add some shadow and here we will add color this will be the text color in the box so you can see this white color of box with the round corners now we will add some text in this box so again come back to the html file and here let's add one text in h2 so this is the text stock images plan then we will add another text in h1 in this h1 we will write the price so here we will add dollar 115 then we will add a span open and closing tag and within this span we will add per month let me remove these spaces after that we will add text in b tag that will be bold then we will add some other text in p tag which is paragraph so after adding all these text let's refresh the website again and you can see these title subtitle and uh, other text here next we will add the css for this one so it is written in h2 h1 b and p so let's come back to the css file here we will add dot box and h2 for the first text here we will add the font size and then we will add some space at the bottom so margin bottom let me duplicate this one and here we will change h1 for the price here we will increase the font size 70 pixel then we will add the color here the text color will be different then we will add the font weight 500 then you can see different color for this text and increased font size for this price next we have to reduce the font size for this one per month so in this html file you can see we have added a span tag for this per month so come back to the css again we will add this one box h1 then a span so for this a span we will reduce the font size and we will change the color also now you can see a small size for this text per month and different color. Next we will add the CSS for this bold text and this regular text. Now let's come back 
and uh, here you can see it is in the b tag so come back to the css here we will add box b in this one we will add the font weight then we will add some space at the bottom then we will add display blocks again we will add this class name box and then we will add p for the paragraph here we will change the font size then some space at the bottom so these text looks good next we have to add a button just below this text for that we will come back to the html file and after this p tag we will add one button tag and write the button text so the button text is subscribe after adding this again come back to the website you can see this button now let's come back and here we will add dot box and button so for this button we will add the css let's add the display block then we will add margin 30 pixel from top and bottom and left right auto then we will add border 0 outline 0 and we will add the background here one color code then we will add color that will be the button text color let's add some padding that will be space inside this button and border radius 30 pixel after that we will add box shadow for this button then we will add the cursor pointer after adding this you can see this button looks good after adding this button we will add one image at the bottom so to add one image we will again come back to the html file and after this button tag we will add img tag write the file path of the image so it is logo.png and again refresh the website you can see this image here at the bottom so we have to change its size so just come back to the css file again write the class name box then write img tag here we will add width 180 pixel so now you can see the reduced size for this image next we have to display the text in this top left corner in the ribbon style for that let's come back to the html file and after this image let's add some space and here we will add one div with the class name ribbon wrap and in this one we will again create one div with the class name ribbon and here we will add the text special offer after adding this again come back to the website you can see this special offer text at the bottom so we have to change its position it will be in the top left corner so come back and copy this class name ribbon wrap write it here in the css file here we will add the width 150 and height also 150 pixel then we will add the overflow hidden and position will be absolute top minus 10 pixel and left also minus 10 pixel now again write this class name and here we will add double colon before write comma again write the class name and write double colon after here we will add content content will be empty then width it will be 10 pixel and height also 10 pixel so that it will be a square and we will add color in the background then we will add the position absolute then z index it will be minus one after adding this again come back to the website you can see this a special offer text here and to a square which is above this text and below this text now we will change the position of these a square so let's come back and copy this one write it here and here we will add top 0 and right 0 so it will be in the top right side and let's copy this one ribbon wrap after it will be bottom 0 and left 0 so it will be in the left side after adding this come back to the website again you can see this a square here and the another one here next we have to design the text a special offer so here we have the class name ribbon just copy this one and come back to the css file write it here for this ribbon we will add the width then we will add the font size and text align will be center let's add the padding 
and background in this background we will add this color and color white which is the text color you can see this text here with the colored background we have to change the position and rotate the text so let's come back and here we will add the position absolute and first i will rotate this text so here we will add transform rotate minus 45 degree so it will rotate the text by 45 degree you can see it is looking like this next we have to just change the position so just come back and here we will add right minus 17 percent and top 29 percent after adding this again come back to the website and you can see the perfect position for this text a special offer so finally we have added this a special offer text in ribbon style for this offer box i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video